What's up, foodies? Thank you so much for all the love you guys give me. I really appreciate that. Please go and follow my uh, Instagram page as well. I just started a new page there, so go and show some uh, show some love over there as well. Now, without wasting any more of your time, for today's recipe, we're gonna go ahead and make some bangan bertha for you. So, without wasting any more of your time, let's get to making the recipe for you. So to make the bangan bertha, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use our bangan. I have two bangans here. Again, I'm cooking for about five to six people. Um, if you're not cooking for that many people, use one bangan only. Um, now what we're going to do, bangan is by the way, eggplant. So we're going to take our bangan and we're going to go ahead and make a cut in the bangan like that uh, with our knife. And then once we make a cut, we're going to go ahead and stuff our uh, garlic club in there. Alright guys, so this is how you want to have your uh, your garlic placed inside the eggplant. Now once you have that done, what we're going to do is we're going to use a brush and we're just going to brush a little bit of mustard uh, mustard oil to our eggplants. Uh, traditionally, the recipe does call for the mustard oil um, before we go out and roast it. There are a couple of ways you can roast them. You can just go out and roast the uh, eggplant on in gas. Um, you can also roast them in a tandoor if you do have a tandoor or you can just go out and oven it, uh, put it in an oven as well. Now I'm going to be roasting my uh, my eggplant. Um, so once we get to that step, I'll show you that step. All right guys, so this is how you want to roast your eggplant. We're going to go out and roast it on a very slow heat and we're going to roast until the whole eggplant turns uh, turns dark um, or it's cooked completely. All right guys, so this is how you want to go ahead and um, and broil your um, uh, your eggplant. You want to go ahead and char it like that. Once the eggplant is charred like that, this means it is cooked from inside. And all, all we're gonna do after this is we're gonna go ahead and, uh, and take the eggplant, put it in with the other eggplant and we're gonna go ahead and cover it up and let it sit for like three minutes. Alright guys, so once we take it out of the ball, after keeping it, uh, letting it sit for like a minute or two, all we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and peel off the skin um, of the eggplant. And um, if you have done it right, it's just going to peel off just like that. And you want to try to peel it off when it's a little bit warm. You don't want to let it get too cold. If it if it does get too cold, then what it's going to do, it's the, the skin is not going to come off. So all you do is just peel off the skin and then I'll show you the next steps to it. Alright guys, so once we get our bartha ready, all we're going to do is, is we're going to go ahead and take a big knife and then we're just going to go ahead and chop it up into the pieces like that. Um, I have kept my garlics in there as well. Um, the garlics are going to give us a very good taste. And then once we do this, uh, we're going to go ahead and add some spices together and we're going to be all done. Alright guys, so now what we're going to do is we're going to make a simple tadka for... Uh, uh, for our egg bartha, this is one of the easiest recipe with the spices that you can find. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of jeera. And again, I'm using the mustard oil, uh, mustard seed oil as well. Um, you can use regular oil, ghee, butter, whatever you want to. But traditionally, it's done with the mustard seed oil. So once I add that, what we're going to do is we're going to let the jeera crackle. And then uh, we're going to add the rest of the stuff to it. So once our jeera is crackled, what we're going to do is we're going to add finely chopped ginger in there and finely chopped garlic as well. And we're going to saute the ginger and garlic until the rawness of the garlic is gone or until garlic turns brown. Alright guys, so once our gin, um, ginger and garlic are cooked about 90%, what we're going to do is we're going to add some finely chopped chilies in there. And then we're going to go ahead and cook um, the chilies and, um, and ginger garlic uh, for a few more seconds. Okay, guys, so once our ginger and uh, ginger garlic and chilies are cooked, all we're going to do is we're going to add some finely chopped onions to it. Now, for the onions, we're not going to cook them completely. We're only going to cook them about 40-50% um, or until they have, uh, they, until they remain crispy, okay? Alright guys, so once our onions are halfway cooked, we're going to go ahead and add our tomatoes to it. We have some finely chopped tomatoes here. And same thing with the tomatoes, we're only going to cook them halfway through. Alright guys, once our uh, tomatoes are halfway done, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add salt to taste. Again, keep in mind I'm keep, uh, cooking for about 7 to 8 people. 
um, so salt to taste. With that, my favorite, favorite, favorite spice, we're going to use some turmeric powder. And if you haven't got a chance by now to, uh, to go out and read about turmeric powder, please go out and do so. Turmeric powder is very, very healthy for you. Now, I'm just going to add a little bit of dhania powder to it. Uh, traditionally, it's not done, uh, but I do like to add some dhania powder to that. And then with that, since we already have green chilies, ginger and garlic in there, ample amount of ginger and garlic in there, I'm just going to use Degi Mirch. Um, or Kashmiri chili. This is just for the color. It's not spicy whatsoever Alright guys, so once our spices gets mixed up what we're gonna do is uh, We're gonna go ahead and add our uh, eggplant to it um, Our bangan in there and then we're gonna mix it up very well and let it cook for about a minute or so and your bangan bartha is ready Alright guys, so this is how we want your burta to look like and the last ingredient that we're gonna add is just some fresh cilantro to it and this is it guys, this is it, so it's all done. Alright guys, so as you know, the food is ready, I'm not waiting on you. Thank you so much for all the love, keep liking, sharing, subscribing. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Have a great day.